Okay, in today's video, we are going to discuss the last installment for the different properties of the scaffold. As I have promised, we are going to have now the drawer. Okay, so, so far what we have here is the up bar. Okay. The up bar, the bottom navigation bar, and the floating action button. Okay, so we are now going to add the drawer. Okay, so a drawer is a panel displayed to the side of the body. Uh, now, in our case, uh, the drawer would be hidden on the left side, and when we are going to click on a hamburger menu here, it is going to uh, display here, it is going to uh, slide uh, to the center, then we could see then whatever would be the menu that is going to be displayed on the drawer. Okay? So it is called here as the drawer, some call it as the sidebar menu or sliding sidebar menu. Okay? So as you can see here, the drawer needs a drawer object or widget. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we are going to use a drawer for our widget. Okay? So I'm here the drawer. Okay, so there would be a lot of properties that we could modify in our drawer. For example, control space. Okay, so we could change the background color, the elevation, then shadow color, shape, and so on. Also with the width. Okay, but I'm, I'm just going to show you now. We're going to go directly with the child. Okay. For the child, so because what I want here is that uh, if ever we are going to display here uh, the sidebar menu or the drawer, I want to have an icon on top, then uh, the list item or the menus on the bottom, on the body. Okay? So in our drawer, I'm going to have here a child okay so in our child I'm going to have first our column okay because I want to have multiple widgets into our uh, into our drawer okay so in our column so we have here our children so first as I've said we are going to display here on top would be an icon so I'm just going to have here a drawer header Okay, so the drawer header here, then with a the child, uh, our child would be, as I've said, an icon. Okay, then the icon would be icons that uh, home. I'm just going to have here the home, or in your case, you could actually change uh, whatever icon that you want to display. Or later on, we could actually put here an image. Okay, but as of now, we're just going to concentrate since we are, have not yet discussed on how are we going to deal with images with Flutter, so therefore we're just going to we will just be contented with icon as of this moment. Okay, so what I want to display here would be the icon into my uh, drawer header. Okay, then with my icon, I'm, since the icons are very small, I'm going to change the size into. Uh, 200 pixels okay comma comma save okay so I have here now the header so next would be the menu okay there should be a clickable menu and we are going to have here from the drawer I'm going to have a list tile. Okay. So we have here our list tile item no, in which we our widget in which is going to cons, um, represent one uh, menu. 
Okay? One menu at a time. Okay? So, therefore, if ever we're going to have uh, three items on our menu, so, therefore, we're going to have four list styles. Okay? So, what I have here on our list style, first is we are going to have our leading. Okay? Leading would be the icon that we are going to have on the left side of the menu. So, I'm just going to have here an icon... Uh, let us say icons that phone I think we have a phone here okay phone Android okay then after the leading is going to have our title uh, let us say uh, contact us okay and the last is when the user is going to click on the menu. Uh, by the way, as you can see here, we have an error. So, title needs a widget. Okay, so what I have here is a string, so therefore, it returns an error. Oops. Okay. So, we have there, contact us. Then... The last would be uh, when the user is going to click on the menu. So we are going to have the on top method. Okay. So we are going to have here an anonymous function that is just going to actually display a message. You click the contact as menu. Okay. then semicolon okay so as you can see when i press the semicolon and i type the semicolon so automatically uh, it formatted our code into a more readable uh, format okay so i'm going to copy this okay, I'm just going to type, okay three i'm going to have three uh minus here icons that uh, let us say I'm just going to have okay, ABC then learn ABC okay you click the A ah, the alphabet menu okay and the last icons that Add comment, okay. Add comment, then right up here. Add comment, then you click. The add comment menu. Okay. So, what you can see here on our drawer, we have uh, included here a column. No? in which that would represent the child of our drawer then inside our drawer we have created here a header okay a header widget that is going to be displayed on top of the drawer then we have the different minus here okay so let us try i'm going to save then reload okay supposedly we could see here the menu or the hamburger button but then it actually contradicted contradicted with our uh, leading icon to our up bar so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to remove the leading icon okay save then reload okay so actually the color of the icon here is white so therefore uh we could not see as of now uh the menu here so i'm just going to change the color of the up bar okay the background color i'm going to remove uh, let us say uh blue okay so that we could see here uh our uh drawer button 
I so again I'm going to save then reload so you could see here now the hamburger button or hamburger menu they call it the hamburger menu so when I click on this one so it displays here or sidebar okay this is actually the drawer so when I click on learn ABC so you could see here you click the alphabet menu okay so it displayed there the alphabet menu so then we have the contact us then add comment so you can see here the add comment okay but as you could see here okay so we need here to have a space now from or maybe we could just we could adjust uh, the size of uh, the icon here so maybe we're going to have maybe 100 and then what I want also is when I click on uh, the menu here it is going to perform the print and then it is going to close our drawer okay so how are we going to close our drawer by the, by the way as of now we could only close the drawer when we are going to click outside the drawer for example I'm going to click it here so automatically our drawer is now closed okay so but what I want to do is if ever we have click on top okay so we're going to use the on top method so it is going to print you click then it is going to close so how are we going to close uh, the drawer widget so by using here our navigator okay so what I want you to take note here is when the drawer has been open okay so it is going to stay on top of the stack okay of the widget stock in our navigator then so that we could close the very the most top widget is we are going to use the command pop okay so in our stack okay to remove the top most item on the stack so we are going to issue the command pop okay so pop then in what context okay so we are going to use the build context that we have defined here okay so we're going to use that context dot pop then we have context then semicolon okay so take note the navigator dot pop is going to close in our case here it is going to close the drawer okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add each of these into our on top method okay then save reload then click save it there we have now a, a smaller one then when I'm going to click on this so it should display you click on contact as then it is going to close our drawer click so the drawer has been closed and it displays you click on the contact as menu okay so click again and comment so same okay so you could still add some more uh, widgets if you want if needed okay you can add actually here a button a text or whatever then later on we uh, we could add here also an image okay but as of now we have just only selected here an icon okay and also you could change actually here also the background color okay so that's the last property the most common property for the scaffold so as you can see here what we have discussed so far is we have on the properties of the scaffold is we have the up bar the bottom navigation bar we have here the bottom navigation bar that's the up bar then the floating action button we have this one here and the last is we have the drawer which is our sidebar menu okay so this is now the basic the most basic structure of our uh, of our flutter app although all of these are optional and that would be depend on uh, the app that you are creating okay so it doesn't mean that all of these that in every app you are going to use all of these properties okay so just use what 
is needed. Okay, so far, we are now familiar with our scaffold and on our next video, we are going to discuss uh, on how are we going to deal with the body of the scaffold. Okay, so that's all for today and I'll see you on the next video.